Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Our morning routine is pretty similar to that in the van. Morning, Tilly. Apart from we have another cat and room for coffee. Nah, I'm just kidding. Wait till 9am for that. Leaving the house, we say hey to Gingy Bear, who's always keen for a fuss. House life has many benefits, but we always miss the van. Oh, and did I mention that? We're the Indie Project's B and Theo, and with our cat Gingy Bear, we're driving around the world in our beautiful self-built Sprinter van. For the last six years, we have driven over 100,000 miles around Europe, exploring all the way up to the Arctic Circle in Norway. Follow us as we adapt to life's ever-changing challenges during the pandemic that's sweeping the world. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Good morning everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope that wherever you're watching this in the world you are safe and well. We are currently sitting in our self-converted Sprinter van that looks very empty. It looks almost like we've just finished it but actually we've just started a van renovation. It's making me feel really sad actually to be in here and it's this far back again because it felt like when we were doing the van conversion it was never going to reach a finished stage and now here we are sitting on wood there's no cushions or anything i can see the bed behind me there's no actual mattress and all of the shelves are empty but that means that today we can finally get started with some of the tasks we've got to do to make it feel shiny and new again <laughs> and big up to all the australian subscribers we didn't know so many of you guys watch from australia because of these terrible <laughs> Australian accent on the last video. If you've not seen it, go back and watch because it's hilarious. I didn't think it was that bad, but I won't do it again because, yeah, it was dangerous territory there. But so I wanted to also just talk a little bit about the fact that we are doing this van renovation during a pandemic and it has opened up some difficulties mm. that we didn't have on the last one. We could we, we went to Screwfix about five times a day. Exactly. And now all of the shops are closed. Yeah. Some of the DIY stores are open, but they don't have a lot of the stuff that we actually need. So we're still waiting on a few bits from Amazon. And yeah, in a pandemic, you have to order everything online or you have to know what you want. And we're very much like to go into the store and have a route around and speak to people and figure out what we need. So on that note, some of the stuff isn't here, but we've got enough stuff to be able to get started on the projects we have planned. So this right here is the unit that's probably taken the most abuse because B seems to hang all the jewelry and stuff off it. And it generally just houses a lot of our stuff, which we take in and out every day. So the paintwork has been roughed up. It looks a bit shabby and we want it to look really nice and brand new for our trip to Canada. So we are going to use the same paint. We did the bait. Are you all right there, Ginge? <laughs> She's like, what the hell? Where's the mattress gone? <laughs> We did the bait doing a completely different colour and changing it and I know a couple of you guys in the comments were saying are you going to change the colour but we thought about it and this colour works so nicely that we're going to stick with the same colour and I've got some 180 grit sandpaper just to take some of the blemishes out and then I'm going to crack on and sand the whole unit down. Before I get sanding I just wanted to give you a little close up of what some of the blemishes look like that I need to sand out and then paint over. This is where B's jewellery was hanging and swinging backwards and forwards when we were driving and it actually it made a little bit of a state of this uh, this part of the cabinet but the rest of it is also looking a bit knackered a bit worn so before you know it, that's going to have a lick of paint. It's going to look beautiful again. If you're interested in what paint this is, then check out the link in the description because we list everything we've used in there. Okie dokie, lemon cokey. Welcome to Bee's textile extravaganza. I've not actually done any sewing for probably about 15 years. So fingers crossed this works. I did get an A in my textiles GCSEs, <laughs> but here's a little fact for you. We've never had curtains in the van and we've been living in it since 2018. So my first task is I'm gonna put a curtain on this tiny little side window. So I need to measure it up and uh, basically create a little pattern. But this is the easiest window ever because it's just a rectangle really. I'm pretending to know what I'm doing as I measure the windowsill and look busy. This is all just for show. 
length and height figured out, I'm off to the sewing room. Whilst I'm sewing curtains, Theo is torturing himself by facing his sandpaper phobia and giving the cabinets a good rub down. Hello and welcome to the secret hidden room in this house that we didn't show you on the house tour. It's basically an Aladdin's cave for sewing. It's amazing. It's got everything you could need to make the curtains, which is great because I would have had to be hand sewing it. And that's probably the reason why I put it off for so many years because there's a sewing machine, which is fabulous and means that I can, in theory, whip this curtain up in next to no time, but it has been a long time since I've sewn. <laughs> Having this Aladdin's cave at my fingertips is a dream come true. It's got pretty much any sewing related item you could ever dream of and I feel compelled to break out into a Julie Andrews style song about bobbins and sequins, but I won't, don't worry. Before I take the plunge and actually cut the fabric, I want to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. If you've never heard of Squarespace, it's a fantastic online platform where you can create your own website that's completely unique to you. There's tons of different themes to use and you can drag and drop different things into it that are useful to you. For our website, I particularly enjoy the blogging feature, the podcast feature, and also being able to have merchandise on there is really great. It feels like our own piece of the internet and we wouldn't have been able to do it without Squarespace because me and Theo have no idea when it comes to web design. So if you want to try out Squarespace, head to squarespace.com forward slash indie project and you can get a 14 day free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So you can try it out, have a lot of fun and make your own space. So now, now I'm going to get cutting. <laughs> Tilly's protesting. She's plopped herself down on the sewing table and won't let me get on with my work because she wants some afternoon cuddles before we go any further. After giving Tilly the attention she deserves, it's time to lay out the materials and continue to act as if I have a clue what I'm doing. The magic book of numbers and the measuring tape for good measure, just look at that concentration. Here I'm marking and cutting the fabric to size. I'm using two different fabrics for this curtain and this one is actually an old blanket cover so we didn't really use it anymore and it was just dead weight, it was a little bit knackered but there are still some good pieces of it so I thought rather than buying new material I'll reuse what I've already got. So it's going to be two different colours, both kind of like a pale colour and then I bought some blackout material which thankfully has arrived in time so I can actually go ahead with the curtain and what I'm going to try and do is have the blackout material inside so you can't actually see any black material but it blocks out all the light. After pinning the fabric together it's time to set up the machine and get sewing. It's so wonderful to be able to sew with a sewing machine. I've sewn it inside out so I need to pull it through the right way before ironing out all the creases and making the curtain fit flat. We are making the most of all the amenities that this house has to offer. It has a lovely washing machine. A <laughs> which... lovely washing machine! You're so lovely washing machine! I smell beautiful right now because of the washing machine. <laughs> And the 50,000 baths. <laughs> and the 50,000 baths I've been having. But we've taken our cushions out of our van because we're going to wash them. And I definitely recommend getting zips put on your cushions. This means that you can wash them really easily like we're going to. Cat Upholstery did a great job on these like over two years ago now. And they've not been removed. So... It's time for a wash and they're going to look sparkly and clean. It's the moment of truth. See if it actually fits or not. I don't see why it wouldn't fit, but I feel like I did rush it a little bit. And we've actually put one of those special curtain wires up on the windowsill already so we can just hang it straight off there. So let's do it. So this right here is the wire and it hooks on really nicely and then I just got to basically thread it through the curtain which is a nice and simple procedure here we go oh uh, I say it's nice and simple and then I lose the wire in the curtain here we go I found it again <laughs> we're nearly there 
I'm nervous. Okay. And then you just gotta pull it basically because it's a wire, so it's a little bit tight. Here we go. Oh! Like a glove! Looks really nice. It does, and it blocks the light out, which is totally its whole purpose. But the tone of it as well goes really nicely with the Van Bird. It blends in and we're thinking what we're going to do is, so we, when we have it open, when it was all bunched it looked a bit stupid. We're going to basically create um, it so we can roll the kern up and have some faux leather that I bought off eBay but this is actually crap. It's already cracked so I have to get something else. So it'll roll up and then attach like that and that'll look really nice so I'm happy with it. We've finally got a curtain. 2020. It only took us two years. Welcome to Corona Cuts where you can get a quarantine trim and get rid of your locks in lockdown. Theo's hair is looking tufty. It needs a cut. B has persuaded me that she wants to cut my hair so I'm gonna let her but I thought we might as well have a little bit of fun with it so we're gonna just cut it with my hat on because obviously you guys know that I never take my hat off. Sleeps in it, bathes in it, cuts his hair in it. Let's do it. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so awful. This is the equivalent of getting a bowl cut. Gingy's literally just sitting right there looking at me like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? It's, a it's, for, it's for your entertainment mate, because you guys are stuck at home. We have to entertain you. Keep your head still, mate. You don't want this to go wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so flipping. Does it look crazy? It's going to look hilarious. Yeah, it does look crazy. Hang on. Oh, draw some hair. My hair used to be so lovely and thick, and now it's so thin. I mean, it is thick at the back, where I've just cut it all. <laughs> this is so funny. I can't wait. I actually can't wait to take this hat off and see it. You're gonna love it, mate. Setting trends. I might keep it if it looks really, really awful. I might just keep it just for jokes. And whenever I take my hat off in public, people will be like... People will be like, oh my gosh, wow. this man. He had a hard time in lockdown. Okay. <laughs> this is too much fun. I think B's enjoying this a little oh, bit I too am. much. This is hilarious. It's actually like quite fun. I just can't wait to see it. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Gingy's looking on in absolute horror. Don't worry, Gingy. I won't be giving you a quarantine trim. I mean, I can if you want, but. I'd love to see what Gingy looked like without any fur. She would look hilarious. Hilarious. Just gotta get those last few strands, you know. Can't be having a. An, un an incomplete... Am I going to have a fringe? Mate, you've got a full on 360 fringe. Okay, right. Let's uh... I think we might... I think from the back it's going to look worse. <laughs> you don't. You just basically look like a hipster. We was planning to go to Portland pretty soon but obviously lockdown. Bring Paul into you. <laughs> right, shall I take my hat off? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> How does it look? I can't see. It looks hilarious. Although we've got a bit of an issue. Oh no, it doesn't go down. Wow. Turn, turn, turn off the camera. <laughs> Full 360. Oh my gosh, because your cap was at an angle, it's actually two legs, <laughs> two legs! Look at the camera, look at the camera! It's sure on this side. 
That's so bad. I want to try and do it as a fade, but we'll leave it for now. That's hilarious. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is what we do in lockdown. Keep ourselves entertained, keep you guys entertained, and make sure you tune in. Next week, because I'm going to shave my hair off. <laughs> You've already done that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, it's going to be a really good video. The, the renovation is coming together and we're going to put everything back in it once it's all painted. And then we'll probably show you around it again and, and do a little tour yeah, or something. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping the paint arrives. Uh, they keep changing the day when it's going to arrive. It's lost in the system. I ordered it about two and a half weeks ago, so... It will get here, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all safe, I hope you're all well, and we'll see you on the next video.